your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. We'll continue this evening. More rain moving in for the weekend, but we did see some very warm temperatures today with highs in the upper 80s. This is what we started things out early this morning. Here comes those showers and thunderstorms slowly pushing in, starting to move in around 1 o'clock into especially southeast Iowa. Northeast Missouri continuing around 2.30. Uh, between 2 and 2.30, we really got some stronger thunderstorms and some heavy downpours. And now as we're heading into the early evening hours, we'll take a closer look and uh, around Kirksville area, Macon getting some heavier rainfall. All of this is moving into near Unionville or just east of Unionville into Putnam County uh, as well as Schuyler County. So again, some just some uh, stronger thunderstorms and heavy rainfall even up near Ottumwa area uh, just to the east and north of Ottumwa, some showers and thunderstorms as well. 75 degrees and, and cloudy skies with rain at the Kirksville Regional Airport. So again, it's really cooling things down considerably. Winds are out of the west-southwest at 9 miles per hour. And Ottumwa, 73 degrees with some rain showers. Winds are out of the south-southeast at 5. Over the next few hours, we are going to continue with those showers and thunderstorms. Most of the activity should be out of here by midnight. And then actually we're going to see a pretty decent day tomorrow with mostly sunny skies very warm temperatures once again the next chance for rain is not going to be moving in until late saturday night and into sunday we've already received a little bit under a half inch of rainfall so far an additional half inch or so is possible through this evening so again up to an inch that we could be receiving just from tonight. 68 degrees as your overnight low. Again, with rain chances, most of the activity should be out of here by midnight. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies. Southwest winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. 70 degrees at 7 a.m. on your Friday. TGIF 75 and partly sunny at 9. And if you're heading out to the Wapolo County Fair in Eldon, it's going to be actually a pretty decent day. Uh, when you think about uh, fairs, county fairs, you think, one, it's going to be raining, or number two, it's going to be hot. Well, it's going to be very warm in the upper 80s with mostly sunny skies. So drink plenty of water and stay out of the sun if you're heading out there. Uh, winds will remain out of, or switching to the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. The good news is if you don't like the heat, we are going to start to see some cooling down as we're heading uh, back to work on Monday. Look at the temperatures, though. On Saturday, another hot one, 88 degrees, 30 percent chance of thunderstorm activity late Saturday night as well as Sunday. 40 percent chance on Sunday, 86. By next Tuesday, still with a chance of rain now, but temperature-wise, 81 degrees and overnight lows into the mid to upper 60s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So again, uh, brief downpours associated with these thunderstorms this evening. They'll be out of here very quickly. And as we're heading into the first part of the weekend, it's going to be nice, not a total washout. That was quite the downpour some of us had this afternoon. It was. It, it definitely was. It came on very quickly. Yep. And then... It didn't last too long. It didn't last very long, no. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Next in...